Hello there and welcome to Preparing for Legion. In this series of 10 videos, we're going to discuss how you can prepare for the launch of Legion. Be it things you can do right now or information about the various systems you'll be interacting with upon launch. Hopefully, these will help you prepare yourself for the next expansion. In this video, we're going to discuss preparing your PC for Legion. This one's going to be a fairly short and simple list of common sense methods to remind and hopefully teach you about how you can take care of your computer prior to and just after Legion's launch, so that you're getting as high a frame rate as possible and you have nothing bad happen to you. First of all, your add-ons. Whether you've installed one or a hundred of these, they are going to affect your performance, even in tiny ways. So take some time, first of all, to examine what add-ons you're using and whether they're really that necessary. I'm sure there are one or two add-ons that just aren't that important while you're leveling up, so open up your add-on list and disable a few that you feel are unnecessary. If you've got older add-ons that you just never use, head into your World of Warcraft directory, usually located in C, Program Files 86, World of Warcraft, then go to Interface, into Add-ons, and then permanently delete the folders that correspond to add-ons you don't use. Don't delete any of the Blizzard folders though, that would be bad, be very careful about that. Just remember that the more simple you can make your user interface, the higher your frame rate and the lower your load times are going to be. These can really add up, so consider giving this a try. Next up, remember to update your add-ons before logging in for the first time after launch. There may be some last minute updates just after or even a while after launch, so check back on the add-ons websites or if you're using the Curse client, the updates list there to make sure you're using updated add-ons that are as smooth and as bug-free as possible. Next, a few tips for increasing your frame rate using the options menu. If you want to up your frame rate nice and quickly, a surefire way to do so would be to lower the quality of shadows and water. Going down to high or good will make a big difference and you likely won't notice that much of a change. It's worth giving a shot at the very least. Other pieces of advice I'd have are to lower the view distance a little bit. If it's at 10, that's the brand new maximum view distance brought in by Legion. So lowering it to nine, eight or seven will help improve your frame rate under advanced, lower the render scale a little. This can have a gigantic impact on your frame rate if you're using anything above 100%. Other than that, just give things a mouse over and experiment a little. You might find that magical setting that gives you that jump in frames per second that you're after. Up next, try uninstalling other games and freeing some room on your hard drives. In fact, I'd suggest having a quick uninstallation spree regardless, to make sure that your computer is as healthy as possible for Legion's launch. If you're using Steam, you can always quickly and easily reinstall games that you delete, and most games use a cloud saving system, so don't worry about giving your computer some more space for World of Warcraft. It can help everything run much smoother. Now for ways to increase your patch and hotfix download speeds. Open up the Battle.net launcher, go to World of Warcraft, hit Options, then Game Settings, and go to Game Install slash Update. Scroll down to the bottom of this menu, make sure you have your automatic updates set to apply latest updates and download future patch data, then change the network bandwidth rate to zero for unlimited. This will help prevent you from having to wait for a sudden patch if it hits overnight or when you're not at your computer. Another good idea is to clean your computer, quite literally. Computers have a habit of accruing dust, which can cause all kinds of problems. So, unplug everything, take your computer to a room with great ventilation or a front porch in good weather and low wind, and use a can of compressed air, which you can get online or in DIY and hobby stores, to clean the dust away. Don't touch anything inside your computer as you could damage it with static electricity, which you don't want to do. Just clean the dust out with compressed air and then put your computer back together and get it plugged back in. Finally, a nice little program I'd suggest installing. C Cleaner. This basically does what it says on the tin. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you can use it to clean out stuff that will clog up your computer. Temporary files, internet caches, things like that. Give the free version a spin every now and then to help tidy up your computer. That will conclude this guide, nice and quick. Next time we'll discuss spoilers. We won't actually be spoiling anything, instead we'll go over what spoilers are, how you can avoid them, and how you can avoid accidentally spoiling things for others. The only thing worse than getting something spoiled right before experiencing it is actually spoiling something for someone else. I've both done this and had this happen to me before and it sucks either way. So we'll discuss how you can avoid that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments or suggestions you can contact me using the links in the description or you can just leave a comment. If you want to help support the channel there's a link to my Patreon page in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you the best of luck in the world of Warcraft. Yeah. <laughs>